Chris Brown joining us to talk about Warrior Way Wednesday, looking at action on Halloween Eve UFC Fight Pass. I feel like we've heard this Warrior Way Wednesday thing before, though. So this is the fourth attempt. <laughs> yeah, fourth, fourth attempt. Uh, this will be the third trip out there. So yeah, hopefully this guy actually shows up. The last opponent pulled out. Uh, I found out on Sunday. Um, apparently he pulled out a week ago, and no one told me. <laughs> like I saw it. Uh, WXC they posted it on their Instagram, and I woke up on Sunday and I was like, Oh, what am I tagged in? And I was like, Oh, I got a new opponent. So I was like, Oh, let me call my manager. So I got call him and give him a hard time. Like, Well, well um, it's good to know that I got a new opponent. He's like, Oh, they they posted something. Like they were supposed to send me the contract first. Like, I'm like, He's like, Yeah, you got pulled out. I told Wink, but we didn't tell you, so you know they know I'll go off the rails if <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> so they kept me in the dark, and I'm hitting with, miss with Wink every day, and he's like not even telling me that I had to, that I don't have an opponent. <laughs> so I finally got one. They say he's guaranteed to show up. You know they're paying him to come in from Florida, so you know I'm excited. You know Breezy just wants to fight. <laughs> Chris Brown's gonna be facing Sean Brown. Brown versus Brown. Had a lengthy amateur career from what I saw. Looks like he's like 11 and 2, 11 and 2 or something like that. I've seen it. And now he has three professional fights. Assuming he's a wrestler, from what I've seen. I, that's what I heard. I haven't even watched a video. <laughs> that's your thoughts. That's how hard. I was already training for a wrestler, but really, nothing that I do changes because people forget that I'm a wrestler. Like I'm a state champ wrestler from Texas. So yes, I know how to wrestle. They just got you know everybody gets enamored because uh, my striking has developed so much. You know, doing all the crazy kicks and things that I do that they forgot that the reason that I'm allowed to do all these craziness is because my wrestling base is so strong and I have no fears. Are you getting better at the weight cut? That's the one thing you've been practicing the most frequently, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm getting better. Still, still a lot of work to do. My main thing is like just um, keeping my weight down between fights, but it just sucks because how my fights get canceled and back on that cancel nobody wants to fight everybody's pulling out of fights so it's like shit I just gotta stay ready is basically what it boils down to uh, just hard keeping that weight down now what is the plan for facing Sean Brown for facing the next wrestler do breezy shit <laughs> he's gonna get lit up he's not gonna be able to out wrestle me he's a little kid he's like 23 uh, like age don't really mean anything, but there's definitely a difference in skill level. Like yeah, he, he wrestled a little bit, but my wrestling accolades are higher. Uh, I train at a better gym. I'm one of the best wrestlers in Jackson Wink, you know, and he's so best fighters in the world over here. So yeah, and everybody knows that when it comes to MMA wrestling, I'm the hardest person to take down. So good luck with wrestling me. <laughs> so what's your expectations now for finally getting? On this platform. Be another knockout another knockout like this dude just, he's not gonna be able to strike with me and he's not gonna out wrestle me so it's only a matter of time before I light him up especially like after the last fight uh, it validated everything that I was doing um, I know I'm usually known for Russian <laughs> I like <it. laughs> you, you think I was Misha the way I rush <laughs> I be Russian <laughs> <laughs> so you know, instead of getting out there and be like, oh, I finally got a fight, I finally got a fight. Seven months later, it was like, like to stay calm, breathing. Last fight, I was like, you can see, I was just so calm because I was just focusing on my breathing. Like the whole focus going into the fight was just focusing on my breathing, staying calm, not getting overexcited, not getting doing too much. And there's a lot of times where I had him stunned and I didn't pound. So I was like, oh, okay, just took my time. Could have followed up with things, but just being uh, patient and letting things uh, open up for me.
So what's been the newest thoughts, the newest realizations, for all this work you've been putting in here? We know fights have fallen out, but what's been happening in the gym? How you've been changing and evolving? You know me, I'm always developing, always, uh, you know, working on the things that I'm doing. Everything I'm doing, I'm getting better, like, really ready to show um, some more of my tricks. Like, last fight, um, uh, I got the knockout, but uh, I kept it real basic. And if you did see the fight, you're like, yeah, that's, that's your basic. But, yeah, that fight was pretty basic compared to the stuff that I actually do in the gym. I didn't even get to my spinning and all of that. So, I just wanted to, I hadn't fought in seven months, so I wanted to you know get in there get my feet under me get a win you know turn up on them real quick <laughs> but you know uh, so it really validated the things that I was already doing so this next fight I'm really looking forward to opening up even more <laughs> Talking about the smile, the, the energy. Oh man, I'm just, you know, Breezy's just happy to have a fight. You know, it, it usually takes about six or seven months to get a fight. So whenever I have a quick turnaround, uh, I'm really excited. Um, I'm just happy, like, I got an actual opponent and they're not gonna, supposedly not supposed to pull out. So, you know me. I was, this is what I love to do. Ain't nothing make me happier than being in here fighting and sparring. You know, I've been grinding like crazy. Crazy putting in crazy miles. Uh, funny thing, I was using the same uh, running shoes for three years. <laughs> <laughs> and last week my feet were really killing me so I was like man I'm only gonna run I was like I'm used to running like at least six miles you know I'll run 10 miles 8 miles 12 miles and I was like uh, I'm just gonna run four miles because my feet are hurting so like for a couple of nights I just ran four miles at the last like the fifth night in a row I was like I couldn't run my feet were just killing me and hurting so bad I went home and was like man I got to I got to do something and I'm like man well, shoes really hurt your feet that bad <laughs> like so so I went the next day and uh, I went and bought some new shoes and so that night I was like you know what let me go get a little light four mile running and that four mile ran <laughs> run ran, turned into a 10 mile run <laughs> and my feet felt so good from having new shoes <laughs> <laughs> that I just knocked out a 10 mile run so so you know I've been on I've been on it now like I ran 10 miles that day 8 miles the next day and then 12 miles the next day and then I ran 7 miles yesterday so I've been on a roll since I got these new shoes <laughs> <laughs> and it has led to me being healthier because a lot of little things that were hurt in my body turns out it's connected to my feet. <laughs> as soon as I changed shoes, like my lower back filled up, like I was not as off as I've been. So, uh, you know, everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, yes, I'm special. <laughs> if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> New feet, feeling good. Man. Do you almost, are you almost worried going out to Michigan with having, like you said, it fell out three times. Are you worried about working with the promotion again? Just because like, it's um, like, this like yeah, I was like, I'm not really too happy with the whole situation. I gonna get it all into it. But uh, I can only hope for the best, you know. I just got to show up and do what I do like I've done the last few times to show up and do what I'm supposed to do like um, as long as we don't have any incidents like Darren Crookshanks bitch ass like <laughs> we'll be good how have you been able to uh, stay positive? Man, um, I'm just a super positive person. You know, uh, after I got shot, you know, everything in my life changed. And uh, uh, sometimes I feel like I'm on borrowed time, so I have to make the most out of everything that I'm doing. I have no time to be depressed and being sad. Like, I used to get like that. Like, um, um, I would go off the rails and I'd get drunk and, you know, just go on benders or I'm like just depressed and want 
want to drink my sorrows and you know drug it away but you know uh, it just took uh, time to like just really sit myself down like I really got to focus you know this this is the journey that I'm going through is just gonna be better in the end like all the hardships that I'm going through now all the people being scared to fight me and holding me back from being where I'm supposed to be you know preventing the world to see what I'm capable of so you know I just have to really you know get super positive just you know remind myself like I'm here for a reason you know got shot in the head and I'm still here <laughs> so you know just gotta you know keep my head down and stay the path and everything will work out what's the goal for October 30th finish another finish is coming